Hello friends, in this tutorial we will see how to install, setup and configure WordPress on localhost. So for this firstly we need a server for running our website on a local host and in this we use BAM server. So we can install BAM server from a website as shown you here. Now when we click on free download we get VAM server on, you, on our computer as shown here. Now all of you can see that VAM server has been downloaded in our computer. Now we can install this. By double, when we double click on that VAM server icon Mm -hmm. we will get installation setup then we click on yes ok then accept that agreement and next 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 then click on install button Then wait for few time. Wait for few seconds. As you can see that VAM server file is of 209 MB. Uh, so it will take some time for installation. Now it will ask do you want to choose another browser install on your system? Now by default Internet Explorer has been selected so we no need to change that. We click on no and default editor no. Now click on next and finish. Now you can see here VAM server is ready to launch. When we double click on that icon, you can see here firstly the icon is of red color and then it is of yellow color and finally when it turns into green color then that shows your VAM server is ready to launch. You can see here. And when you click on that icon, you can see number of options. Now after that, we'll need to inst uh, download WordPress. We'll download Word WordPress from WordPress official website. Here you can see that WordPress is installed, is downloading in our PC. Now in downloads, you can see a WordPress zip file. Now extract that zip file. As all of you can see that we will get this folder WordPress 4.8. Open this folder. You can see number of files or folders. 
so for installing WordPress firstly we go to C drive and WAMP folder as in my PC I have 64 bit uh, PC so here is a name WAMP64 now go to www folder now create a folder here suppose we want a website having name sample.com so give that name to a folder which we want as a name of our website now go to downloads copy all these files and paste them into vamp www and sample.com in this way we can install wordpress for our website now after that we will need to configure virtual host for running our website and this can be done in two steps first of all go to VAM server icon click on that icon and Apache you can see here a file named httpd vhost.config open that file all of you can see that there is a code for virtual host in this file now copy that code and paste at the bottom of this file. Now do setting according to your requirement as we have a Word, WordPress website name sample.com so copy that name and paste it here. Similarly, slash paste it here and paste it here and save that document. And second step is run notepad as admin. Right click on your PC. Here you can see notepad. Right click on notepad. Run as admin. Now open a file known as host which is situated in C drive, windows, system32 drivers and etc, etc folder. Now here you can type host and open. Now this is our host file. Now we define host for our website. Copy this line without hash because hash is, hash is used for commenting a line. Now paste at the end of your document. Similarly give that name over here. and save that document ok now close this file close this file also now after that you will need to restart vamp server for this go to vamp server icon apache services admin and restart services now icon will turn again into green color which shows that BAM server has been restarted now click on BAM server and go to localhost At the bottom of this page you can see your 
project name that is sample.com when you click on that link After that, you need to configure your WordPress website. For this, select a language English. Continue. Now, this wants database name, database username, password, host, etc. For, for your website. Now, you need to create a database. Go to WAM server, PHP my admin. By default, its username is root and password is empty. Then click on go. Now create a new database. New database name. Suppose sample underscore dot com. Collation, you have to select UT8 Journal CI. CI represents case insensitive. Then click on create. As you can see, your database has been created. Now use these credentials over there and click on Let's Go button. Type your database name, sample underscore com username is root and password is empty now click on submit button run the install now type the name for your website suppose we want sample dot com username sample underscore admin okay now copy that password for your future use enter your email id then click on install wordpress Click on login. Enter your username, sample, admin, and password which you have copied. And click on login. So finally, everything has been done, and your WordPress website has been configured. Click on sample.com. You can see your default theme here. Now you can do changes from dashboard according to your requirement. Thanks for watching. Do not forget to subscribe and like or comment. Thanks.